Hi and welcome back to how to use Anna 2. In this one we're going to take a look at creating a pad sound and we'll be utilizing some of the sampler oscillator stuff alongside some of our main oscillator. Um, so I'll bring you through into the sampler. If you want to load a waveform you just click here and that brings up the sampler browser window and we have a whole bunch of different um, folders here or columns and you can select different ones by just clicking on the top column and you can organize them whatever way you want. So for this one we're going to be using some vocal stuff to get a nice bed for our um, pad. Um, my favorite one's probably this hyper hyped choir. I'll just turn this on. Really good as a, a bed for a pad. It's got nice stereo vibes and a nice sort of shimmery sound. I'm gonna transpose it down one octave just to get the playable bit into the nice zone of my keyboard. And we'll layer that up with um, another vocal one. Sounds nice. I think we've got all here. Okay, so there we go. And I'll turn that down just a bit. Just give it a bit more vibe. And we can do um, stuff like modulate the pitch again. So we will just go to our mod, we'll pick an LFO1 sample oscillator 2. I'm just going to modulate the second one that we put in. Almost giving it a, a vibrato type vibe. And we can also add in a super saw just to give it some more thickness. So we'll turn our voices up to nine. We can really hear there that the starting to thicken things up. And then we want some movement in the background. So there's we've got quite a few samples that um, sort of recreate the vibes of some of the 80s digital synths like the JV or the M1. Um, I'll just solo our last sampler. I'll let you hear some of these sounds. So we've got these very atmospheric things. So depending on what we want to create, we can add one of these. I'll try this up da down arp for a bit of a try. You can hear if you play chords there, you get this quite dramatic sound. Very sort of synthy thing. So what we can do, we've got all our um, sounds currently assigned to filter one. And what I want to do is filter this last sample on its own. So I'm gonna turn it to filter two. And then if we want to set our filter to parallel, it means that the two filters become completely independent. And what we can do is put our up down onto a different filter. And we're gonna use a, a bandpass. And 
And we want that moving out through our... Yeah, we want that moving about underneath. So what we can do, we can assign that to our mod env. So right click on the filter cutoff, send it to mod env1. Let me make it a bit slower. We can unsolo that and bring it all together. We'll slow down our attack. And then we can add some delay and some reverb. So we've got our send and returns here. These are return tracks, which um, generally I use for delay and reverb. And to get some signal sent to them, you pick an insert effect. And down here we have our send levels and you can send different amounts from each of the insert effects. So for example, if you wanted to send, if you had a chorus on here and a distortion on here, but you only wanted to send the chorus signal to the, the returns, you can do that. So it's quite flexible in how you send stuff. In this case, we just want to send from the end. We can turn it up for both the plate and There we go, we've got a pretty epic sounding pad there. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at creating a mini Moog lead sound. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you wanna watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.